Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a whole number and a decimal. So either a whole number times a decimal or a decimal times a whole number. We'll go through three example problems together and then you can try three practice problems on your own. Let's jump into number one where we have eight times four tenths. Now the first thing that we need to do whenever we have a multiplication problem involving any decimals is remove any decimals. So we're going to rewrite this problem as eight times four. Now our second step is to multiply. Eight times four gives us 32. And now lastly, our third step, we place the decimal in our answer. We do that by looking back at the original problem and seeing how many decimal digits we have. So how many digits are to the right of a decimal? Well, we have one, this four right here. So our answer needs one decimal digit as well, one digit to the right of the decimal. So one digit and the decimal goes in between the three and the two. So this is our final answer, three and two tenths. So let's write this up here. Eight times four tenths equals three and two tenths. Moving on to number two, we have 16 times five and 72 hundredths. Our first step, remove any decimals. So let's rewrite this as 572 times 16. And I'm writing 572 on top here because it has three digits and 16 has two digits. I find it easier to set up and work through a multiplication problem when the number with more digits is on top. Remember, multiplication is commutative. So order doesn't change the answer. We get the same answer either way. Think about it, two times five is 10 and five times two is 10. So we're not impacting the answer at all by doing this. So now we multiply. We'll start with six times two, that's 12. Then we have six times seven, that's 42, plus one is 43. And then we have six times five, which is 30, plus four is 34. We are done with this six, the one, and the four. We are moving over a place to the left to the one, so we need our placeholder zero here. And now we have one times two, which is two, then one times seven is seven, and one times five is five. Now we add two plus zero is two, three plus two is five, four plus seven is 11, and then one plus three is four, plus five is nine. So we end up with 9,152, but this isn't our final answer. We need to place the decimal. So looking back at the original problem, how many decimal digits do we have? One, two. So our answer needs two. One, two. The decimal goes in between the one and the five. Our final answer, 91 and 52 hundredths. So 16 times five and 72 hundredths equals 91 and 52 hundredths. Now let's move on to number three. We have seven and 905 thousandths times three. Let's remove any decimals. So we have 7,905 times three. Now we multiply. Three times five is 15. Three times zero is zero, plus one is one. Three times nine, 27. And then three times seven is 21, plus two is 23. So we end up with 23,715, but we need to place the decimal. Looking back at the original problem, we have one, two, 
three digits to the right of a decimal. So our answer needs the same, one digit, two digits, three digits. So the decimal goes in between the three and the seven. Our final answer, 23 and 715 thousandths. So seven and 905 thousandths times three equals 23 and 715 thousandths. So those are our three example problems. Let's move on to three practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. I'll give you three minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was three minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, seven times 35 hundredths equals two and 45 hundredths. For number two, 23 times four and nine tenths equals 112 and seven tenths. Now for number two, I worked this out two different ways so you can check your work there. 23 on top, or if you had 49 on top. Both numbers here are two digits, but if you like putting the greater number on top, that would be 49 in this case, I wanted to show that as well. Either way will work. And then lastly, moving on to number three, 64 and 51 hundredths times eight equals 516 and eight hundredths. So there you have it. There's how to multiply a whole number and a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching.
Until next time, peace.